Hi, fishy folks, and happy special edition Tuesday tour. Ooh, I like that Tuesday tour, huh? Anywho, back from vacation, uh, we went to Hershey Park. We took our RV. If you're not, if you didn't know, I have a 1993 Fleetwood Pace Arrow RV. It's old. Got it a couple years ago, and unfortunately, the transmission took a dump on the way out there. So I had to have a tow to the campsite. We camped. Then I had it towed to a transmission shop and I'm waiting that very expensive estimate. Ugh. Not sure what we're gonna do. We may just junk the RV or sell it without getting it fixed. But anywho, moving on. Uh, as you can see, I'm wearing this special shirt. This is uh, Aquarium Adventure, which is a YouTube channel. Graham is the uh, genius behind Aquarium Adventures. Check out his YouTube channel. Uh, I'm wearing it to congratulate him on 2,000 subscribers. He hit that milestone recently and I want to send him a big congratulations. If you haven't already, go check out his channel. Smash the subscription bell. Gently, gently tap the notification bell. Just like boop the notification bell. Just boop like you're booping someone's nose. You wouldn't want to smash someone's nose. Boop. That's what you got to do. Uh, so go check it out. Graham and I have done some things. He's the one that started my website. Uh, we've done a live stream together. I'll try to put link in, a link in the description below for that, as well as, of course, to his channel, Aquarium Adventures. He's out of England, and uh, I believe he's Scottish, so he's got that funky accent, and he says words funny to me. And he looks like Shrek, and I mean that with love, Graham, but he does, so check it out. Uh, all right, so the special edition Tuesday tour, we're back from vacation. And uh, I want to give you a tour of all the tanks, show you what's good, show you what's bad. And um, yeah, why don't you stand by? I'll uh, move the camera and we'll go from there. All right. All right, fishy folks. These are the fish that uh, were sent to me as a surprise with some of the guppies I ordered. And uh, the female, one of the females dropped fry uh, a couple days after I put them in the tank. And you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I see fry. So there's probably maybe 14 in there. I always double what I can count because they could be hiding in the weeds. You never know, but growing out. Now these fry, uh, they were born probably two days before I left, maybe three days before I left. And then they didn't get any, any food while I was gone. Nobody fed my tanks while I was gone. Uh, so they just had to survive off the biofilm in the tank and the algae and all that stuff. And I don't see any dead babies, so that's good. All right, moving on. Uh, green cobras. Um, got a problem with male-female ratio again. I've had a couple males. I've had a couple males like this one. Of course, he went to hide. That really aren't breeding true, so I got to pull them out, put them in the mutt tank. That one right there. Um, but there's a couple males in here that look nice. That female. Uh, has a bent back Not sure what that's from so that'll probably be an Oscar snack and uh, Yeah Mutt tank glass is dirty Got a dead leaf on the look at this look how long that is all the way down to the floor That's sucking out nitrates, which is great because there's a poop ton of fish in here that I overfeed so they grow fast But these are the mutts growing nicely um my mutts are not only culls, and I don't mean culls with bent backs, I mean culls, they're not breeding true, so I take them out, throw them in the mutt tank, and they breed with whatever else is there, and we get really cool, fancy fish, like that one. And that one. So those are the mutts. If you wanna to go to michaelsfishroom.com, check out Michael's mutts, and uh, they are fantastic. I talk about some mutts a lot because I like the mutts. How many times can I say mutts? All right, down here we have the, hold on, hold on, stand by. Let's get a chair. Oh boy. I know, that's what you love about me, the fantastic camera work. So here are the um, red, white, and blue American guppies. And uh, there's one female and there was quite a large, there's the female in the back. Uh, there was quite a large drop of fry. You can see a couple of them hanging out in the front. Um, Got to get some weight on these guys, get them growing so I can get them up on the website. Pretty nice looking fish. I do have another batch in the pink panda platy tank uh, from a female I've forgotten there. So, yep. All right. Yellow cobras doing well. Uh, looks like there's some fresh fry in there right there. You can see glass is dirty. Um, 
the the funny things about these guys is it looks like there's two different I don't want to say two different strains but there's like a, a yellow yellow female yellow a gold body female and a gray body female and uh, it's just it's interesting because they all came from the same place and they all look the same when I got them so but yeah there's some nice looking males in there I do have a couple sales for these so uh, they'll be going in a box in a little while all right moving on this is some java moss I got that I'm trying to resurrect it's uh just in a bucket you know not doing too well not sure what I'm gonna do with it trying to grow some java moss for you guys actually I bought a big clump from a wholesaler um, trying to get some java moss in stock because that's one of the things I get asked for every week do you sell java moss so and I really don't have that much I mean I have enough for me but all right moving on mosaics uh, lots of fry in there that are soon to be juveniles see the tanks pretty dirty glass is pretty dirty but it's a breeding tank and uh, pretty ginormous females there's one male in there which again every week I say I'm gonna pull out but uh, that's a guppy that was born in my tank probably a month ago that's now a juvenile you see there's some fry Move this back, sure you will see some more fry. Yeah, there's a ton of fry in there. It looks like there was a fresh drop while I was gone. Not really surprising considering how many females are in here. Uh, a second tank of mosaics. Actually, these are more cobras. Um, I tried to separate them as, uh, at when I got them and as they grow and show their true colors. There's probably fry in here too. There's a juvenile over there and uh, just a breeding tank, you know, sponge filter, lots of plants to hide in, lots of moss, rickia, who cares, soaking up nitrates, keeping the water clean. And uh, I do have crushed coral in this tank as well, trying to boost production and uh, of the guppies. Here's another tank of cobras. Um, pretty much the same thing as the other tank. Here's an empty tank. This tank actually is filthy. I don't really like it, but I just put it here to measure, uh, to put this 10 gallon in. Uh, what I do sometimes, or what, I, what I, I'm doing down here, is uh, I was measuring because I wanted to finish this section, and of course I never got to it, but I do have to take this tank or another tank, drill it, put a standpipe in it, and get fish in it. <coughs> Here's some grow outs, got some red cobra grow outs. This is an all-male tank, at least I think it is. I thought I just saw a female in there. But it's uh, red cobra grow-outs and uh, black Moscow, which I guess people are calling full blacks now. Um, I saw that a couple places recently. Anyway, um, red cobras, black Moscows, and I thought there were jade heads in here, yeah. So the red, the, the ones that look like the red cobra, but have a black, like that one, have a black, uh, can't remember what that's called, just before the tail, uh, those are the jade heads. The green jade heads. All right, moving on. Nothing in this tank, it's just set up, has a box filter in it, and an old sponge filter, and moss, and it's all ready to go, and I don't have anything in it. Uh, here are black panda tank one of the black panda tanks um, also a breeding tank so quite dirty that's gonna be a theme here so uh, yeah this is just black pandas the original stock came from Cory at aquarium co-op and then I got some from a local guy super breeder Steve just to mix in some more DNA some genes keep everything fresh um, these guys are very prolific breeders they're the, my best sellers on the website and uh, I do have a fry pack on the website that I'm probably gonna have to take down because I don't have that money fry left. So somebody ordered fry, a fry pack from me, they're probably gonna get juvenile, so they hopefully they'll be happy. We'll see. Empty tank, need to clean it out, doesn't even have a filter in it, nothing. All right, moving on. Green Dragon Pleco, there's three of them in here. Glass Belly Guppies. There's a bunch and fry in here. There's another green dragon. 
growing out. Hopefully we have at least one male and we can start breeding these guys. Uh, here are albino quarries and the purple mosaic dumbleware sulfur head. And there's one female in here. And somebody mentioned to me on a video I made where I was like, hey, I don't I don't know why there's a no fry in there. And they're like, um, you have quarries. The quarries will eat the babies, which I didn't even think of, silly me. So uh, I pulled the mail a while ago. I put that in the mail guppy tank. And so there's one female in here, which I don't know where she is. And I pulled another, the other female because I had a trio. I put her in a separate tank by herself. And uh, I'm probably gonna end up pulling that second female and putting her in the other, putting her in another tank to see if I can get her to drop in a separate tank. So here are the uh, red dragon guppies. Love these guys. They're just about ready to go on the website. Maybe I'll do that today. Take that out of the way. Um, the males have nice black, uh, dorsal fins. They look like Dumbos, but they're really not bigger. The females have a nice blue tail to them and blue dorsal fin and also very prolific and very hardy. And you can see some baby plecos on the glass there, some baby albinos. There's one down there you can see. And of course there's there's uh, some crushed crow in there, which I may take out because I didn't realize it was in there, even though it's right in the front. I'm not so sure the plecos are going to love that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look into that. Anyway, uh, these will go on the website soon, so keep an eye out for that. I'll probably do a special announcement and a special sale, new product, and so on and so forth. Hi, glass belly guppies. Look how fat those females are. You can see the, the eyes of the babies in there. She'll drop any second, probably when the lights go out. All right. So I was hoping to come and see eggs in this tube, and all I see are snails, so that's not good. But, uh... These are the L144 Plecos, Blue Eye Lemon Plecos. Oh, there's a male doing something in there. Um, hopefully we'll get some eggs soon. I know Mikey Trevino out in Colorado has some eggs from the ones I sold him. So, uh, yeah, this tank is dirty. A lot of snails, I don't really care. Um, a couple of the Pleco gurus have told me, don't worry about the snails, they're not, they're not gonna do anything. Uh, the males will protect the eggs. So I don't know if the males didn't protect the eggs here or what happened, but I gotta gotta check that out. So um, these guys growing nice. They were sold to me as long fins, high fins, but uh, really not. I know I have at least one male. Uh, you can see on this one there are little whiskers. I don't think that's a male, although it could be. And uh, yeah, so that's that tank. Here's a second black panda guppy tank. I did pull most of the guppies out of here, put them in the in the main tank. The plan was to just uh, leave the plecos in here. You can see the calico bristle nose in here. Um, but <clears throat> I didn't catch all the the females, all the the guppies, and so yeah, they're still in here. There's Bruce. Bruce tank. Bruce's tank is dirty. Whatever. All right, fishing folks. Moving on. Goldfish tank, uh, really considering getting rid of the goldfish and getting another fish, another big fish in here. A couple of people have told me that's what I should do. I don't really care. However, I do want a different kind of fish. I like the goldfish, don't get me wrong, but I want something else, I think. Something that, you know, like a pet, like a pet fish. Anyway, and there's platies in here. So uh, if you someone ever tells you you can't keep platies and goldfish together, tell them to go check out Michael's fish room. He's done it. Ha ha. Uh, there's also an L133, L133 King Tiger Pleco, which I saw yesterday. So I know he's in here and still alive, but can't find him. All right. There's two other Plecos on the glass and that ginormous, oh look, he wants to kiss. <laughs> Han and Leia are Tiger Oscar and Albino Tiger Oscar and a big common pleco and I have a common pleco because my son needed it for his cichlid tank two years ago and of course that took a crap and I the only thing that was left was a pleco so I inherited it but it's probably going to the local fish store soon because it's it's a poop machine and it's ginormous so 
Uh, really not sure what I'm gonna do. I don't even know how I'm gonna catch it. But anywho, that's the Han and Leia Oscar tank, like my Oscars. All right, moving on in the fish room. Here's my box of Rapashi samples. We're gonna make some Rapashi today. I think we're gonna make, no. No, 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 I don't know what we're gonna make. Let's see what that is. All right, here are the uh, mosaic, red dragon mosaics, mosaic red dragons. I got from eBay, no fry yet, little surprise. Thought I'd have fry by the time I, uh, I got back from vacation. But look how spectacular that fish is. Can't wait for these guys to breed. There's a couple of people have asked me how long before they're ready to go. I'd say about a month and a half to two months after she drops fry. So that could be in two months, uh, but we'll see. Here are the sword tails, the red tuck sword tails. I'm just growing out. Oh, looks like we had another batch of fry. There's a tiny one and a couple of juveniles and, and these are high fin red tuck sword tails and uh, doing well maybe maybe if I get motivated at some point I'll switch them to the 120 long I have I like sword tails in a 20 long but uh, probably not I'm probably gonna be too lazy and I want to put tens I want to put three tens where that 20 long is so all right jade head guppies there's some males looking nice these are about ready to go on the website as well and of course Mickey Mouse platies that uh, she had babies in here and there's literally a thousand of them. So, yeah. Uh, there's another beta for sale. If you're interested, shoot me an email. Just haven't put it up on the website. Uh, I got it, wanted to fatten it up and make sure it was all healthy and it is. Shoot me an email if you're interested. Uh, the one beta is $30 shipped, including shipping. So. Look at that, look at that, that's spectacular. And of course we got some albino plecos in the back. Those guys were tiny when I got them. Fatten them up, hoping, to, hoping, fattening them up, hoping to find at least one male. Pink panda platies, waiting for these guys to breed again. Uh, I had a drop and then I sold them, uh, the babies. And, or I sold some adults and these are the babies. And I'm waiting for them to breed again. Uh, oh, that one doesn't look too good. What are you doing? See that? Yeah, that one's all jacked up. That's going to be Oscar food. All right. Uh, yeah, stand by. I'm going to go uh, call that one right now. Stand by. All right, fishy folks. I may or may not uh, put that in the video. A live feeding. Not so sure how, uh, how YouTube reacts to that, so... I'm gonna do some research and then uh, maybe I'll release a short live feeding video. We'll see. Uh, here are some co female cobra guppies waiting for them to drop. Kind of surprised they haven't. Uh, we got some baby plecos in here, and there are some female guppies. I hope that I'm waiting to breed. All right, moving on. Uh, red mosaics, males. Those are the males that were in that tank. Now they're in this tank. Just growing out. I grabbed some some juveniles when I scooped them out. So hopefully those will be males. If not, I'll drop them in the female tank. But uh, there's some really nice fish in here. Really like these guys. All right, this is a tank of grass guppies um, that seems to be only only females. I did put a male in here to uh, so. Uh, they could spawn or they could breed they could do their nasty whatever you want to call it um, And I do have to pull them out unless I pull them out before I went on vacation I don't see him. So maybe I did that, but I don't remember doing that and I'm old. So whatever uh, There's also some calico plecos in here. There's three of them uh, Growing out they're about that ready to, the size to breed so I'll probably be paying a little bit more attention to them There is one cave in there. I'll probably add another one same thing in here, there's some albino plecos with one cave. They should be of age and size now to breed. These are the um, red magenta guppies. There's a male right there, you can see. These are a pretty nice guppy too. Yeah, there you go, now you can see. A little bit more light. Uh, really like how they look. 
these are <clears throat> purposeful mutts, if you will. It's just crossbred and that's what they look like. Some of them come out, you know, with the black, more black tail, but most of them come out like that with the, the red and the, uh, the magenta in the body. Here's my black Moscow tank. Gotta pull some of these males out. I like to pull the males. Something new I've been trying. Uh, pull the males, the females drop more fry, typically, and grow bigger. So, you can see there's quite a few babies in here. These are all homebred, homegrown. Got these at an auction and doing my thing. These are, like I said, local fish, very hardy, very strong. Uh, they are on the website. They're the only ones I have as a trio on the website. I'm trying to see how that works out, so we'll see. Uh, all right, we talked about these, we talked about these. We'll go up here to the all-male guppy tank. There's a black mascal male. There's some jade head males. Uh, there's a Tanaka maple leaf male. So all my extra males go in this tank. Um, it's actually one of my favorite tanks. Too bad it's kind of high and hard to look at, but looks nice. All right, uh, purple deltas, American purple deltas. Um, they have purple and yellow in them. Some of them sometimes have that little red spot, which I'm not a fan of, but I've been trying to get these guys going for quite a while now. I do sell pairs every now and again, but I don't have enough to put on the website. So if you're interested, certainly send me an email, let me know. Uh, these are the steel nebulas, nebula steels. You can see there's some fry. There's a ginormous female right there. And of course there's what the spectacular males look like. Here are the half black reds. Um, kind of uh, got to do some work in this tank. Like there's a female that looks like it's got more cobra tail in it. Want to pull that out? So just a breeding tank. If you're interested, they're on the website. Then we have the purple deltas, purple deltas, purple Moscow deltas, purple Moscows. I forgot what they're called. Again, another colony I've been working on, trying to get going to put on the website. I've had a couple sales here and there, individuals, but really not enough to put on the website. Tanaka maple leaves. Uh, there's one male, one female, and a bunch of fry. Oh look, tiny, tiny fry. Must have had some babies when we were gone. Half black guppies. Japanese blue guppies. Um, these are really nice, these Japanese blues. Lower sword tails. Since I'm out of the Jarwi Lazulis, this is what I've been subbing, and uh, people are pretty happy with them, so I'm pretty happy. Blue diamonds, very prolific breeders, very hardy fish. Uh, these are just cobra tanks. This is empty. More cobra tanks. Uh, I forgot what we call these, but I think these are gonna go into the mud tank. Not really sure what I'm gonna do. Here. All right, here's the other purple haze, jade head, dumbo ear, whatever, whatever. No fry. Uh, gonna be power feeding these guys for a little while before I leave for Japan in a couple days. Hopefully, we can get them to drop before that. Here we have the German half blacks. Um, these have the really nice. Tequila Sunrise Tail. Um, I only have a pair left. I sold a poop ton of them. And uh, apparently I had run out of females. So luckily one of the fry turned into a female. And now we have a pair in there doing their thing. All right, fishy folks, one more thing in the fish room I wanna show you. Uh, about a month ago, if not longer, I, pulled, I sold a bunch of my platies and I thought I pulled all the babies out and of course I missed about seven of them and I threw them in this bucket. I literally siphoned out all these guys with all the chunk on the bottom into this bucket. Haven't fed it, haven't changed water and boom here are the fish. And uh, looks like all of them are still alive so I don't recommend you do this at home either. I do have to find a proper home for these guys. I think I sent a video, I was gonna contact the buyer. And of course, I never did that, so maybe I'll do that today. Jared, if you're watching this, shoot me an email. Come pick these guys up, they're yours. All right, fishy folks, that's it for the tour of the fish room. Let's go outside, take a look at the guppy tub, shall we? 
All right, fishy folks. Part of the fish room update from being back from vacation, the guppy tub update. Here's the, I'm gonna call it the 40 gallon uh, mutt tub. You can see the plants have taken off after about five days of me not being here. Um, quite a few guppies in this tub. Looks like we had a, we lost one. Let's take that out. And uh, actually there's quite a bit of spider webs up here. There's another spider web. Um, I don't, I don't see any fry yet, which is okay. We got some time. Oh, I lied. There's a ton of fry. Liar, liar, pants on fire. There's fry. Fry, fry, whatever day this is going to be released. All right. Sweet. Mutt fry. Love the mutts. Uh, if you go to www.michaelsfishing.com and look up Michael's mutts, if you Google Michael's mutts, it'll probably pop up too. But look at that snail. Let's see if we can see a better... That's pretty nice. Anywho, uh, this is a great way if you're not really into line breeding or specific breeding, you just want to breed or you just want some nice guppies for your community tank or whatever tank you have, this is a great way to do it. You can buy a five pack for twenty dollars. That's four dollars a fish, which is uh, you know pretty much the same price you'd pay at Petco or PetSmart. But these, of course, are going to be nicer, hardier, stronger, and uh, they're from me, so that's even cooler. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, second guppy tub. Uh, we've had two drops of fry in here. AC clicked on. Sorry. Um, two drops of fry in here from both mamas and uh, they're growing quite well you can see there's two that are different you know there's there's two clear different sizes of fry so there is a tiny and a really tiny fry so uh, these guys are doing well I'm pretty excited about this tub and um, yeah that's all we gotta say about that all right these uh, are the dragon red dragon guppies and uh, I think I always forget. Let's see if I can't. What do you think? Got it. Yeah, these are the red dragon guppies that are spectacular. And uh, no fry. And I keep saying I gotta pull one of these boys out. Maybe I'll pull both boys out and we'll see what happens. But I said that last video I made. I gotta pull a boy out. Probably said it the last video before that. Still haven't done it. My hand's wet now. Can't touch the camera. All right, moving on to the cobras. Uh, we had fry drop in here first, probably about two weeks ago. And uh, they're just growing up in here. The, uh, the algae is quite thick in here. I don't really care because the babies can eat off it, hide in it. It's soaking up nitrates. Um, you know, these plants, these little water lilies have sort of uh, live their life. They're starting to deteriorate. I'll probably take them out soon. What in the heck is that? Oh, it's one of the bulbs on the bottom. Gone. That's how I handle these uh, these tubs, guys. Uh, someone asked me a question. You know, what do you actually do? I put water in. I put plants in. I put fish in. Done. I don't change water. Uh, occasionally, I'll feed out here. Um, but I don't. There's there's not even air stones running. There's air stones in these two tubs, but I don't even have them on so yeah nothing all right last guppy tub of the tour is the grass guppies blue and red grass guppies and there were frying here when I left for vacation and when I got home yesterday I did see a few oh there they are they were just hiding just chilling so I'm pretty happy about that I'd like some more drops but you know we'll see what happens it is only July Look at this. Corona Ken gave me this. Obviously, it wasn't this long when he gave it to me, or thick and bushy. But I put it right out here in the tubs, because it's a great way for Guppy Fry to hide once they're born. All right, guys. That's it for the tour. Hope you guys like the Back From Vacation tour. Don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com for all your guppy needs. Stay fishy, folks. Fishy folks and happy special edition. Don't forget to check out Michael's fish. Ooh, excuse me.